guys, welcome to another episode of The Social. It's a fun show on 11 Sports Network where we talk about all things fabulous and hot on the social media world and in the world of football. Today I'm really excited to have my two guests here. It's Raj, the host of the Power Sports Show on Power 98.5. FM. Welcome Raj. Good to be here. And of course I have a former athlete player here, Tom Beatty. He was of course playing for Warriors at one point. Thank you very much, Tom. Thanks for having me. Let's go to our first story, really interesting one of course about Antoine Griezmann. Do you guys see the ad of his on Puma, the Puma ad? You are a former footballer, Tom. You like the ad? Yeah, I've been in there. I think he did a good job. But let's talk about the fact that, that, that he, he's played so many different roles here, but he's been a fantastic, of course, for fans of the Euros, right? I mean, I think what, nine goals in the... Uh, 15 games with Athletic. Exactly. Yeah. And he's now worth, I think, about 170 yeah. million Sing dollars. So let's go to our next story, of course, Jürgen Klopp, Liverpool manager who recently went to James Milner's foundation, charity foundation bash. I think uh, the Milner Foundation, James, uh, he set it up in 2012. That's to help uh, with the youth in the United Kingdom, yep. you know, with uh, providing opportunities uh, through sport and uh, mainly through rugby, cricket and, and football. So this was the fifth year that he's done it. And uh, brilliant to see the the galaxy of stars from Man City to Liverpool all showing up yep. uh, for for the for the foundations uh, you know that, that dinner and in the five years he's already raised about eight hundred thousand dollars for several charity causes. Let's go to our next one. Obviously this is a bit I wouldn't say it's a bit of a it's, it's a damper but something that's been affecting everyone's been talking about it is a football sex scandal. And apparently five times darts world champion and Sky Sports commentator Eric Bislow he's actually slammed these guys, these young boys or right now they're all adults in their 40s. They've come out to basically talk about their really horrific experiences. Mm. And basically he's been saying uh, been, he's been calling them whims on social on social media. So isn't this a bit over the top? If anyone to say anybody is weaker based on the sport they play, I mean I don't really think he should be. I'm gonna read out a, a comment on Twitter now. So this lady, okay, her name is City Lady32, that's her Twitter handle. She says, I think we're gonna agree with it. She says that MB is looking pretty astonishing now. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> It would be interesting if they actually strip him of the, the MBE, I know, which I he know. was awarded in 89. Sorry, so. first, let's go to the Usain Bolt film premiere. That, that happened in London, I think, a couple of days ago. Personally, I would watch. Uh, and he did tell CNN, I mean, when they asked him, who would you want uh, to play you in an actual movie? He said Denzel Washington. Whoa. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I mean, Denzel, with all due respect for him, but Denzel is going to be, well, I think he's already above 50. I think the right player to play him would be Michael B. Jordan from Creed. Okay guys, so let's go to our next story. It's currently about Kim Lim. You guys know the daughter of Peter Lim, who's obviously the owner of Valencia. The controversy is going on on Instagram now. It's apparently a photo that she tweeted or she posted on her Instagram profile. I think it's a, it looks like a mouse pad, but I think it's more like a plug, you know, with the Manchester United crest as well as her father's name, Peter Lim, and a number, maybe her favourite number. So the caption said, So sweet, my number is 23 and he took this for me. Love you, Pa. So if you look at this picture, obviously the comments have been already silent. She's deleted it, but apparently, actually, it's not apparently. She did get trolled, she did get abused. But maybe she's just got to learn to tone it down. Because we, depending on whether the three of us are following her on Twitter, and if she constantly has posted several messages for her love for United, then, then I think then, you know, it, it warrants for a bit of criticism, but some of the fans, I think they've taken it to a whole new level. She needs professional advice. Yeah. Like, like somebody who's, 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 who's controlling Donald Trump's uh, Twitter account as well. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. It's not, I don't think it's the first time she's done this, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go to our next story, the final one. It's, it's about Mourinho, I think you guys know that he might be facing a bit of a crisis of, it, of his own yeah. at the moment. Mm -hmm. So he's been going on and you know he's staying in a hotel I think in Manchester, not, actually, in, not an actual house. I'm gonna go read a comment now from someone uh, on Twitter. The username is manunited underscore HQ. The person says, so the FA takes less than 30 hours to charge Mourinho for kicking a bottle, but they take 30 years to investigate abuse to boys. As a man who's revered by millions around the world, especially the youth, you of all people have got to set the standard. A standard? Yeah. And I mean, kicking a water bottle, you know that's gonna be a straight infringement. Well, of course, we're going big on Singapore football again in this episode. I'm still here with my guest, the host of the Power 98 show every Saturday is a sports show, Raj, as well as Tom BT, former athlete footballer with the Warriors. Guys, welcome. Let's go to our first story. It's a big one. It's going off on social media. It's the formation of the, of course, the ASEAN Super League. But of course, there's someone in the Singapore football fraternity, Venga, of course, the former mm -hmm. Williams Wellington manager who's saying apparently he doesn't want it. He's, he's basically come up with a petition saying, we don't want to play, we don't want that in Super League. I mean, 
he's well I mean he's got every right to say because based on the performance of the national team the national teams over the years uh, since 2012 when we last won the Suzuki Cup and we've not been able to even win the SEA Games gold uh, that still remains elusive so and what happened recently in the 2016 Suzuki Cup so I think now the talk about the, the, the ASL being formed in September of 2017 um, there is a a, a large number of fans who feel that if you do this, you're going to take away the best players in Singapore, the Lions Tour probably, and the, the S League again will suffer from all the talented players. But they are looking for a new CEO. I'm not sure whether you guys have seen it. I've yeah. seen that whole job posting. So apparently people have been saying Zainuddin Nordin, our FAS president, is in for the job. I know it's a bit controversial. To be yeah, I mean, the ASL, has, ASL has, been, has been talked about for almost six years now. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, and Singapore has always been, it's been reported that Singapore has been the one pushing it. So the right person would probably be Zainuddin to helm the whole project because, I mean, he will no longer be the FAS president once the election takes place before May next year. I think that league would, if he ran that league, it would be shocking. Um, I need to get run the S League properly first. Tom, you have friends. <laughs> you have a lot of friends in local football, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. What's it's going to be difficult, right? The, the yeah. league will really struggle. I mean, I think the people would probably say, yeah, let's go play in a big league again. But the actual players, the ones who are selected, it would you know, it'd be amazing if they was playing in this amazing Asian yeah. Super League. But for the ones who, the ones who don't get selected, I, I don't know what they would yeah, do. They'd probably struggle. Remember, if you guys have anything that you want to share with us and see it on the show, you can tweet us at 11 Sports SG or send us a message on Facebook. I'll see you next time.